20 Commonly Asked Questions in Digital Marketing with Solutions Today we are going to talk about the most commonly asked questions about digital marketing. Even after we learn everything, several questions pop up in our minds. I will try to clear up most of them. Not to leave you strayed, we will look at some digital marketing solutions that will connect you with each of the answers provided. 1. Can social media marketing really help your business? Definitely. Many businesses have proven every day that marketing through social media platforms has given them an unexpected boost. In fact, if you are not using social media, it can harm your business. 2. What are the benefits of social media marketing for my company? When you are on social media, you are accessible to your customers. It helps you maintain a relationship with your clients and to help them through the sales funnel. It helps you develop authority and maintain trust. 3. How much does social media marketing cost, and what is the ROI? I am not going to hide this. Social media marketing is never free, whether you do it yourself or hire an agency. Either you put in additional time and effort or you put in money. The main point that you need to understand here is that ROI does not always mean money. It can also mean growth in potential clients, growth in followers, etc. ROI is the direct result of how successful your strategy for social media is. 4. Which social media platforms are important for my business? There is no fixed answer to this. You should have your presence where your potential clients are. Every business will have a different audience. Like for real estate, Facebook is still giving more potential clients than Instagram. 5. Does my company need a blog? Absolutely. Having a blog is a bonus yet important step. It increases your credibility, it increases your SEO ranking, and it helps to talk to your clients and followers. It is a very important step in social media marketing. 6. How to access social media for B2C and B2B businesses. If you are a B2C business you can have more fun, interesting, and trendy social media posts. If you are a B2B business you need more formal posts that share valuable information. 7. How important is YouTube for marketing? People are more interested in watching videos rather than reading lengthy blogs. Even though blogs are important, videos play a vital role in keeping a good reader's attention. They can understand you and your services in a much better way. 8. Is timing important for social media marketing? Yes, timing is very important while marketing on social media. Creating a social media strategy for a week or a month in advance, creating posts, responding to your audiences, checking day-to-day -day analytics, etc. takes time and should be done in proper time. That is why social media marketing is considered a full-time job. 9. How much time will it take to show results on social media? One can never tell a date. Because it depends on your audience, your efforts, your strategies, your budget, paid ads or not, etc. You need to have a little patience before you literally see reliable results. 10. What is the most common mistake made on social media marketing? One of the biggest mistakes made is inconsistency. If you are inconsistent in posting content and engaging audiences, you will lose people's interest in no time. Even if you keep posting, but don't provide engaging content you will lose your followers. So if you take my tip, post consistently and keep engaging audiences with new features and discussions. Let's get into some deeper questions, shall we? 11. Why is SEO important to my business? First of all, I like the system. It is fair for every business to work smarter and actually win a top position. Also, potential clients are more likely to click on your website thus generating the best traffic. It improves user experience and people are more likely to become your repetitive customers. And SEO is cost effective. 12. Why are keywords important in any write-up? Keywords are the foundation layers of SEO keywords show how people are searching in a search engine. If you can include good keywords in your articles, they help you in optimizing your website and make people find you quicker. An important thing to note here is that you can't just add all the ranking keywords to your blogs because Google also gives priority to quality. If you have done keyword stuffing but lack quality, Google will move you to lower positions. 13. Is mobile optimization important? Year by year results shows that queries are searched more on mobile phones rather than a desktop or a laptop. Small businesses or even your users may not own a system but are sure to use a mobile phone. Making mobile experience friendly for your users will give your business a boost, and you will also come in the gateway of Google's top list. 14. What is local SEO? 
if your business is location-based, you should try to find out the keywords that people of that area use. This will optimize your website for that location. Not only inside the website, but also in meta tags, headings, other pages, etc. This practice is known as local SEO. 15. What is inbound marketing? In inbound marketing, you desire to pull in customers towards your brand. Every context is written according to your audience's needs. Naturally, inbound marketing is done via blogs, social media, influencer marketing, emails, searches, etc. 16. What is outbound marketing? In outbound marketing, the message is sent out to the audience rather than inviting them to us. Every context is written according to the products. Naturally, it is done via ads, video marketing, display ads, billboards, magazines, telemarketer scripts, etc. 17. How are Google Ads different from organic ranking? Organic ranking means ranking earned because people are voting for your site due to the services you offer. The way you present yourself and your SEO strategies help you organically rank in search engines. While Google Ads on the other hand is an advertising platform where you have to run ads. These ads appear on the top of the search results or the sidebars, and it's displayed that they are not organic. 18. What is a CTA? CTA means call to action. Now, why would anyone click on your business and not others? It's the CTA that tempts people to click on any button, or it directs the reader to act upon it. Different kinds of call to action should be included in different pages, and it will help your readers to convert into clients. 19. Can your web design affect your SEO? Your web design is the first feature a user interacts with. The more interactive and easy to navigate a site will be, the more it attracts a user. The speed of your site is also important. A user will stay for more time to explore your website and is likely to buy your product services. And as we all have seen that Google prioritizes user experience too. It checks the time spent by users on your website and ranks you accordingly. So yes, web design does affect your SEO. 20. Why do I need to try different marketing strategies? The simple answer to this question is that how did you know that you liked butterscotch ice cream more or strawberry more? You tasted all kinds of ice creams, and one day the five-year-old you knew which one was the best for you. Similarly, you will never know where the best audiences are and which platform will fulfill the exact needs that you have. You need to find out what's best for your business, and thus you need to try different strategies. Let me give answers to every who, what, when, where, why, and how with the help of a few examples. What do you hear when I say digital marketing? Neil Patel right? Why is that? How has he become the king of digital marketing? Neil Patel has a futuristic approach to businesses. While he is looking at the present, he keeps in mind what the future holds. His approach includes the three M's money, meaning, and momentum. Money. While any traditional method costs you a whole lot of money, digital marketing costs much less. Meaning. What traditional marketing offers you is of less importance and use, while digital marketing gives meaning to your strategies. Momentum. While your television or newspaper campaigns won't help you go far, digital marketing provides the required momentum to your business. Have you ever wondered what it is about the internet that beats other methods? The internet has found ways to track the interests of users, how much time they spent on every platform, where do they click, what do they search, etc. The internet is basically their second mind and heart. So when you ask the internet to show your honeymoon travel services to your target audience of couples aged 18 and older, it does exactly that via Google Ads or Microsoft Ads. The internet is impartial. While television shows more ads for the one who paid more, and the newspaper gives a bigger display area to the higher paying parties, the internet sorts out who has better user experience and services to offer. Regardless of the money you spent, it gives you even opportunities with big budget companies. Isn't that what every business needs? What do you do when you want to win a race against a multiple times winner? You learn their tactics, develop better tactics, and then you continue testing. What will you do when you need to learn the tactics of a business competitor? You use tools like Uber suggest to get the best keywords, the number of useful backlinks, the volume of the keywords, estimated visits of the keywords, what are the competitions, etc. SpyFu can be used to download the complete keywords data of your competitor. Quicksprout helps you to learn about sites similar to yours, and then you can find ways to outreach them. SimilarWeb gives you the exact insight of a site, platform, or even an app. It can even tell you the traffic sources of your competitors. Alexa by Amazon, not the voice assistant, is a web traffic analysis company. 
It is excellent to create and maintain your content strategies. It can give you very accurate user behavior data. There are many other tools available. Now, not only do you have the answers to your questions, but you also have practical solutions to those questions. What's stopping you to jump right into digital marketing? Opt for digital marketing solutions for your business now.